you guys, welcome back to my Lady Boss YouTube channel. So today, get ready, we're going to talk all about the dating lifestyle, the good and the bad, and I'm just going to hit you with some raw and real advice. So get ready for that, but before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I do post videos every Thursday, and so let's get ready and get into this video. So if you're one of those people who are having a hard time with the dating lifestyle and things aren't going as well for you, I just wanted to let you know, don't give up on love, don't give up on dating. I know that it's somewhat of a stressful process or sometimes it's a very fresh and new process, but just please don't give up. You will be able to find someone eventually and you know you will be able to find love. And that's why I'm here today to give some advice on things that work because they worked for me and that's why I just also wanted to put it out there too that this video is pretty much going to be geared towards women only because of the fact that I'm a woman and I am here to give the raw and real advice based on my perspective so I just wanted to put that out there but anyways I get it that sometimes this dating process can be frustrating there's so many mixed signals and all of that that goes into it but one thing that I really wanted to touch on and start with is the idea that women think that men are not smart enough when it comes to dating or they don't know any better when a woman isn't treated the right way and how she should be when they first start dating. And there's so many things and illusions and facts that women hear from other friends when they get advice or anything like that where they're always told that men don't really understand at the beginning of how to treat a woman and that is so not correct. Men are not dumb when it comes to dating. They know exactly what they're doing. They know how to give time to someone when they have the respect for them. But that's how us as women need to know how to hold our own when it comes to dating and a relationship. The first thing to start with when you are starting to date somebody, you know, I'm not trying to say not to be yourself, but this is something where I think that a lot of women in general can work on when it comes to dating and potentially calling someone your significant other. So pretty much, I just think that when you first start dating, you need to give off this vibe that you know your life is great with or without this other person in your life. I feel like that is the one most important tip to have in your mind at all points in time, only because you know you need to put yourself first. And though not necessarily saying that everybody else needs to come second, but especially when you're dating, you do need to put yourself first. You can't always just run your schedule around another person or seem like you're super available because I feel like that's a very common thing because I get it. We get excited when we're starting to date someone. So like we want to give and devote all of our time to that one person, but it's like that's not really how that whole thing works. Only because at the beginning you go into this relationship as an individual. So you're the individual, he's the individual, and you guys have been individuals doing your own thing before you had even met. So before you had even met, you were like doing things that you loved to do yourself, you know, you liked to go out to eat wherever you wanted to go, you made the decisions for yourself, you did all of those things before this other person came into your life. So that's one thing that's really important to really keep in mind and think of because just because two people when they start dating and come together doesn't mean that you need to give up your own life just for someone else. That can come later on down the line where I know that you can make certain sacrifices, but especially during the dating process, I feel like it's very important to still keep your own because like I said, guys are not dumb. They can take this and completely read it right off the bat when they first meet somebody. And if they know that you're too much of a pushover and they know that you will always go out on a whim for them and drop everything that you're doing to go hang out with them or do something for them, it's not going to work out in the long run because when a guy knows that you're like this, it kind of is like he has so much control over you that he'll eventually get bored, to be honest. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's how things kind of fizzle out when he knows that you can't be your own individual without him. And that's not something that you want to give away. So if you're not good at it now, don't worry, just practice it. Like, it takes time. Like, I had had to go through so many different relationships to be able to get to this point to where I am today and learn from my mistakes. So pretty much, like I said, utilize all the things that you love to do. Like if you like going to the gym, don't give up the gym to talk to him. Tell him, hey, I am going to the gym right now. I will call or text you later. You know, because you're not here to put your life on hold, especially at the dating phase. 
for some other guy. I'm sorry, that's just not what should happen. You should still live your life the way that you want to, how you were living it before you had met him. The next mistake that I see a lot of women make during this dating process is one, that they think that he's going to eventually change his behaviors, or two, that they think that they can change him. So going in and having that mindset when it comes to dating is never going to work out for the better. It's always going to end up in a disaster because you're going to put so much time and effort into trying to change this person's behavior, trying to change them as a person, or just think that they're going to change down the line. Those things will never give you a positive outcome. I'm sorry to say that, but that is just the hard, hard truth. And once you realize that you can't change anyone else's behaviors, that you need to just let them live their own life the way that they want to, no matter, I get it, how hard it is because once you seem to be invested in a person, especially if you've been dating for a while, it's very hard to, you know, give up on them. But in all reality, that's just something that's just going to end you up in a disaster later down the line where it's, you're going to end up being unhappy. And so a lot of times I see that women give the excuse of that, okay, even if he's not treating me right now, like he'll get better at it or he'll be able to improve. Sorry to say this and I'm not trying to be negative in any way, shape or form. But it's like if he's not the standards of what you want him to be while you're dating when you're just in that getting to know phase and that short period of time, he's not going to turn into that person that you want him to be down the line. Like there's so many times where I've seen my friends make that mistake, I've made that mistake, and it's just something that we are just so used to always trying to make excuses for him or that other person and it's just something where it's not going to work out, I'm sorry to say that. And it's sad to see that you're investing your time and everything like that, but it's that's at that point where you just need to like cut it off because you guys can still be friends or whatever it is, but it's not something that you can move on to see that potential for them, you know, to work out in the long run. And so just try not to make that mistake if he's not treating you correctly at the beginning when that should be the like honeymoon stage. It should be the stage that's exciting. You should be getting treated well, like he should be taking you out on dates and just doing everything he can to pretty much make you feel special. And if he's not doing that and you feel like you're compensating too much at the beginning, that's when time is just will tell and it's just time to move on. So whether it's he should maybe compensate a little bit more at the beginning, but then at the same time, it should still be a pretty solid play level where it's like you guys can treat each other as equals and that will just make it all a better situation um, in the long run. A good example of this is when I've talked to some of my friends or just had conversations with certain people where I hear a lot of girls say, oh, he, you know, doesn't respond right away, he doesn't always really hit me up, and, like, I feel like I always have to ask him to hang out, or, you know, he doesn't always call and text. So it's like, those are kind of your red flags and signals to let you know to get out now. Because, you know, if he's not trying to give you your full attention, especially the beginning process, what makes you think that he's going to give it to you down the line? You know, you're, just because girls get this, you know, thing in their head where it's like, okay, I now need to overcompensate to get more of his attention. It's like, no, that's not going to change anything. You can do things over the moon for him. And if he still wasn't texting you before, he's still not going to do it then. So it's like, if he's not trying to give you his full attention, his full respect at the beginning, that's when you need to get out. And you need to find someone who will give you that time. Because a lot of times, you know, the excuses just flow out every time where we always make excuses for someone who doesn't, give us that attention that we need and really want. You know, a lot of times people will say, oh, you know, he's probably busy at work or like he's sleeping right now or that he's out with his friends or like he's just, you know, just some of those excuses and both those some of those pretty common excuses that I feel like we hear all the time, you know, so it's just like a lot of women fill their heads with those excuses and it's just something where we have to stop doing that. It's not going to be beneficial to you. It's not going to make you happy at the end of the day. And so, you know, if he's going to do that, then fine, just let it go. You know, there's a lot of other people that will want to give you the time of day and will treat you with that respect and want to talk to you consistently throughout the day, weeks, and just like, you know, so far and so forth. Another common mistake that I do see women make a lot is that they're really desperate to be in a relationship. So I understand that, you know, sometimes if you've been single for a while and you just want to 
be in a relationship and you see all your friends' relationships or you see social media and everyone else being in relationships or getting married and having kids and babies and all that jazz. <laughs> I get it, we see it all the time and sometimes we are pressured to always want to be in a relationship or to be in one that looks like a great relationship. But in all reality, when you're in that position where you're too obvious that you're too desperate to be in a relationship, a guy can tell immediately. He can know if he is just in this and you're just in this just to put a title on it. And that's just so much pressure for the guy and it's actually going to scare him away. He's gonna pick up on it right away you may not know that, but he will, and it's just, he's not going to be able to treat you like the queen and the princess that you can be, and that's the thing where if you put all this pressure on a new guy that you started dating and just expect him to be your boyfriend right away and just do all these boyfriend things for you, it's going to not work out because he's going to get so scared, he's going to feel all this pressure that you're putting onto him, and then he, you're going to be a little bit undesirable because who likes to be pressured into anything? You're like, told what to do and that goes into another thing too where it's like because women sometimes are so desperate to be in a relationship so they start to kind of bring up these conversations about how they need to explain themselves a lot of times when girls get to this point they feel like they have to explain like oh I'm not hooking up with anybody else like I don't really date multiple people at once like I only just will date one person at a time and give all these things to try to seem like they're so relationship material but that's one thing where that's the biggest mistake that women make and that personally I've made in the past but it's like those things by telling a guy that your relationship material by pretty much telling him all these things where you're just like this little angel and princess where you don't date multiple people at once like it's not going to be believable he's not going to believe you so it's just the fact that try not to seem like you're super desperate to be in a relationship and just let things go with the flow like that is literally probably the best thing because there's no pressure he won't feel pressure you won't feel pressure because that is just something where it'll just be able to work out on its own. And I know that sometimes that might sound cliche, but it does really work, you guys. It's better to not put a pressure to be in a relationship than it is to actually try to give all the reasons why you need to be in one. So utilize that, go with the flow, and trust me, it will work out better because if you're not nagging him to do certain things for you, or not telling him to do certain things or trying to explain yourself to him about how you're this angel, you know, he'll be able to see that and tell what kind of person you are by, you know, just getting the real you versus what you actually really like are yearning for. I know that that is probably one of the hardest things to really try to grasp and hold on and sometimes people don't even know that they're doing it to be honest until, you know, you kind of try to rethink and kind of reflect on certain things that happen in a relationship. So once you do realize it, I know it takes some practice, I know it'll take some time to not try to have to explain yourself or try to seem like that you're this perfect girl to be relationship material. You know, it does take time, but as long as you can notice it and try to make that positive change, you will be able to have a successful dating relationship. I hope that you got some insight from my tips and my opinions. I hope that this advice was really helpful to you and that you can utilize it in your own lives and your dating lifestyle and hopefully that it works out for you for the better. I know that a lot of these tips that I gave you, they're not going to just happen overnight. It's something that you will have to consistently work at and then also realize. So just take this into consideration. I know that it works for me. This is the advice that I give all my friends because it's something that I have personally seen a huge difference with. And so I just hope that you take it, utilize it, and that it works successfully for you. But other than that, I'm going to wrap up this video, and I appreciate you so much for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and then I will see you all in my next video next week Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.